Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Deep Learning Biology. My name is Dr. Vikas Bhardwaj and within this video, I am going to tell you about repetitive DNA in human genome. Hopefully you know very well what is genome. Genome, it can be defined as total DNA content of any of the organism. Hopefully you know very well that we the human being, we are eukaryotic, we are diploid. We are going to have ploid level that is 2N. Most of our cell except germ cells, they are going to have ploid level that is 2N. So your DNA content is double. Now here if you know one half of the DNA, you can also tell what is going to be the another half. So here the genome, it can be also defined as haploid DNA content of any of the organism. It is known as genome. Now another point you must be knowing, we the human being within the haploid cell or you can say the haploid DNA content of one cell, it is going to have 3 billion letters. So if you see the total letters which are going to be present within the DNA, it will be 6 billion. So we are going to have deployed cell. So total number of nucleotides which will be present within the deployed cell, these are going to be 6 billion. Now here I just want to remind you, these 3 billion letters, if you are going to arrange them, you are going to have a length of DNA that is 1 meter. And if you are going to join 6 billion letters, you are going to have a length that is 2 meter. So your 2 meter DNA, it is being packed within a small space that is the nucleus. Now here I just want to tell you one another important point. Here if you compare my DNA with your DNA, yes 99.99% our DNA it is going to match. But here I also want to tell you no two individuals, even the identical twins, they are going to have 100% same genome. The genome it is going to vary. Yes there is no matching that is going to reach 100% similarity. But yes you are going to see 99.99% similarity. You are going to see some differences between two individuals and these differences can be seen when we are going to perform the process like DNA fingerprinting. Yes we are going to learn many many things about DNA fingerprinting in upcoming classes. Now here I just want to tell you another important point. If you see the total number of genes which are being present within the human being, it is 54,644. These are the total number of genes and hopefully you know very well what is a gene. Gene is actually a segment of DNA which is going to code for a biological product. Yes, your biological product can be messenger RNA, it can be tRNA, it can be ribosomal RNA or it can be other small RNA. Now here you must be knowing only the mRNA it is going to code for the protein. So here within the human genome, the number of protein coding genes, they are 20,203. So hopefully it is clear to you total number of genes within the human genome it is 54,644 and now this number also includes the genes which are not going to code for proteins and out of these the protein coding genes are 20,203. Now here I also want to tell you one another important point if you see the human genome more than half of the genome it is going to have DNA repeats it is going to have repetitive DNA. Now let us try to understand what is actually the repetitive DNA. Now here I just want to tell you in the case of repetitive DNA you are going to see the DNA sequence they are present multiple times. So you are going to have some stretch of DNA and that DNA sequence they are present multiple times. You are going to have multiple copies within the genome. So such type of DNA sequence they are known as repetitive DNA. Now here I just want to tell you repetitive DNA it can be of two types. One it can be tandem repeats, another it can be interspersed repeats. So here we are going to understand what are actually tandem repeats and what are actually interspersed repeats. So here I just want to tell you in the case of tandem repeats what is going to happen the repeat sequence generally they are short so you are going to have short DNA repeats and these repeated sequence they are present 
close to each other so you are going to have stretch of dna and this dna it is being repeated multiple times okay so such type of repeats they are known as tandem repeats now here i just want to tell you these repeats they can be present in this manner that means you are going to have one repeat then it, it is going to have another then you have another so you are going to have head to tail orientation or you can have another type of orientation means you are going to have one repeat then you are going to have in the reverse order so you are going to have head to head orientation hopefully it is clear to you what is tandem repeats so what is tandem repeats tandem repeats are short repeated sequence and these repeated sequence they are present very close to they are present just next to each other so hopefully it is clear to you what are tandem repeats now here i just want to tell you these repeat sequence they can be present from few to many times means their number can vary so these repeats they are also known as variable number tandem repeats or you can say v and t r so here i just want to tell you the v and t r they can be of two types one it can be mini satellites another it can be micro satellites so here i just want to tell you in the case of mini satellites what you are going to see you are going to see the dna sequence they are rich in g and c hopefully you know very well you are going to have four type of ways means adenine guanine thymine and cytosine within the dna while in the case of mini satellites you are going to see generally the g and c yes in the case of mini satellites you are going to have the dna that is going to be of 10 base pair to 100 base pair and that sequence it is repeated multiple times now here i also want to tell you that the mini satellites they are distributed along all over the chromosomes so this is about mini satellites so if you see what is actually micro satellites so in the case of micro satellites the dna sequence is less than 10 base pair and this sequence it is going to be rich in a and t so see here the mini satellites they are rich in g and c while the micro satellites they are very small they are going to have a length less than 10 base pair and they are going to be rich in a and t for example here you can see the sequence c a c a c a c a it is actually a dinucleotide repeats so the two sequence c a they are repeated multiple times so here you see that the sequence it is going to have just two new base pair and it is being repeated multiple times so this is a micro satellites now here i also want to tell you micro satellites they are also known as str or you can say ssr so here str stands for short tandem repeats or you can say simple sequence repeats so hopefully it is clear to you what is micro satellites and what is mini satellites now i am going to tell you what is actually interspersed repeats now in the case of interspersed repeats what is going to happen the particular sequence which is going to be repeated multiple times it is present at many locations now here in the earlier case in the tandem repeats what was happening the repeat sequence they were present next to each other but here in the case of interspersed repeats the particular dna sequence it is going to occur at many locations so if you are going to have the genome and here i am representing the in the red color the dna repeats so this repeat sequence it is present throughout the genome and it is present at multiple location so these are known as interspersed repeats so here one of the best example of the interspersed repeat i just want to tell you it is the transposable elements hopefully you know very well what are transposable elements they are also known as jumping genes or you can say selfish genes yes we are going to have more discussion about transposable elements in another video but here you must remember the transposable elements they are going to present in multiple copies yes they are going to be repeated multiple times and they are distributed throughout the whole genome so hopefully it is clear to you what is interspress repeat now here i just want to tell you the interspress repeats they are present 45 percent within the genome now here i just want to tell you interspread repeats they can be of two type one is signs 
another is lines so here if you see the signs it stands for short interspaced repeats now here in the case of signs what is going to happen you are going to have short dna repeats that is going to have a length less than 500 base pair and those sequence they are repeated multiple times yes you can have 10 to power 5 copies within the genome so here i just want to tell you one of the best example of sign sequence is alu repeat now here i just want to tell you in the case of alu repeat what is going to happen a sequence which is going to have a length that is 280 base pair 280 base pair dna it is being present within the genome approximately 13 percent and this is present approximately 10 to power 6 times so this is about alu repeat always remember alu repeat they belongs to short interspersed repeats now another is long interspersed repeats now here what is going to happen the dna it is going to be bigger in size the dna it is going to be greater than 5 kb and you are going to have multiple copies of the same sequence and these sequence they are present in all eukaryotes except in yeast so here another important point you must remember the lines they are going to represent 21 percent of the human genome so here i have already told you that most of the human genome it is going to have repetitive dna sequence hopefully within this video you have clearly learned about what are dna repeats yes we have discussed what are tandem repeats what are interspersed repeats and i have told you tandem repeats they can be of two type one it can be micro satellite another it can be mini satellites and here we have already discussed the interspersed repeats they can be of two types one it can be signs means short interspersed repeats another it can be lines that is long interspersed repeats thank you for watching this hopefully you like the video please do share it and subscribe to my channel deep learning biology